tens of thousands of drones take flight every day, and in the near future there could be millions taking pictures, helping rescuers, delivering orders, and maybe even delivering us. Without lanes or traffic lights in the sky, the airspace is going to get crowded. We've already seen airports come to a standstill and people get injured because of bad drone activity. Turns out we need air traffic control for drones, and that's what AirMap aims to be. The Southern California-based company doesn't create a map of the sky like the name might suggest. Instead, it constantly takes in weather, terrain, traffic and regulatory data from a variety of sources, including the FAA, the National Park Service and Emergency Dispatch. This is really an index of what's happening in real time in three dimensions. AirMap shows everything from the locations of prisons and schools to temporary flight restrictions over Dodger Stadium or even a wildfire. Major drone makers like DJI, Unique and 3D Robotics use the information to remotely keep their drones out of harm's way. For geofencing to keep drones from flying into unsafe airspace. AirMap is used by 130 airports across the US, including LAX and Houston. Airports can get notice of nearby drone flights and communicate with those drone pilots. All of that red area, never, there should really never be drone flights because there's so many manned air traffic there. Drone pilots voluntarily register with AirMap and submit a flight plan. They see dynamic data on the map like first responder activity and any warnings before taking off. There is always a way to get in contact with you if there's any, any kind of emergency situation. But not every drone flight has good intentions or registers with AirMap. D-Drone is a private service that lets governments, big corporations and stadiums monitor their airspace. To use D-Drone's system, you need ground-based hardware, including an RF sensor and video camera. And that's being used to pick up video of the drone that's flying. It's being sent back downstairs into our software. That software works out if the flying object is a drone or a bird by matching its characteristics against a so-called DNA database. Drones fly in a pretty different manner than, say, a bird or an airplane. Once the system detects a drone, the user can decide to deploy security measures. Things may be even trickier in the future when drones are flying autonomously, delivering packages and people. Our capabilities that we've developed for drones apply just, just the same to flying cars. It's a future that's turning highways into skyways. In Santa Monica, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News.